This video describes vCenter Embedded Link Mode and how it can be configured to connect vCenter server appliances with Embedded Platform Services controllers together to form a single domain. The vCenter Server Appliance is a pre-configured Linux-based virtual machine that is optimized for running vCenter Server and its services. When you deploy vCenter Server Appliances with an Embedded Platform Services controller, all services that are bundled with the Platform Services controller are deployed together with the appliance services on the same virtual machine. This is a standalone deployment with its own vCenter single sign-on domain. With embedded link mode, you can connect up to 15 vCenter server appliances with an embedded platform services controller together to form a domain. Unlike the enhanced link mode model, the embedded link mode model does not contain external platform services controllers, thus providing a more simplified domain architecture. It also provides a more simplified HA process, removing the need for load balancers. The backup and restore process is also more simplified. Embedded linked mode is only supported for vCenter server appliance deployments. It is not supported for Windows vCenter server installations. You join a vCenter server appliance with an embedded platform services controller to another embedded node during deployment of the vCenter server appliance. For example, suppose you want to deploy two vCenter server appliances with embedded platform services controllers. For appliance 1, deploy the vCenter server appliance as an instance on ESXi host 1. During the deployment of appliance 1, you will create a new single sign-on domain. For appliance 2, deploy the vCenter server appliance as an instance on vCenter server 1. Then, you join the vCenter single sign-on server of the deployed appliance on Appliance 1. We will demonstrate this process next. This is a high-level overview of joining two vCenter server appliances to form an embedded linked domain. We are not demonstrating the entire appliance deployment process, but it will show the parts of the deployment that are important. Run the GUI installer and deploy a vCenter server appliance with an embedded platform services controller. During stage 1 of the deployment, set ESXi host 1 as the target. Set up appliance 1 during stage 1 of the deployment with a name and root password. During stage 2 of the deployment, make sure to synchronize the time settings with ESXi host 1. Create a new single sign-on domain for Appliance 1. For Appliance 2, deploy the vCenter Server Appliance as an instance on vCenter Server 1. Set up Appliance 2 with a name and root password. Configure the time settings so that Appliance 2 is synchronized with the ESXi host that is on vCenter Server 1. In Stage 2 of the GUI deployment, Select to join the vCenter single sign-on server of the deployed appliance on Appliance 1. When you view the newly deployed vCenter server appliances with the vSphere client, you can see that both appear in the inventory view. You can manage both inventories of this embedded linked mode domain. For more information, visit docs.vmware.com.